Welcome fellow explorers to another thrilling journey into the future. Have you ever found yourself gazing at the stars, wondering what it would be like to call some distant planet or even a man-made habitat your home? Well, you're not alone. As our planet becomes increasingly crowded and our technology ever more advanced, scientists and visionaries are turning their gaze skywards. They're imagining a future where we don't just visit other planets, but live on them and even beyond them, Today we're going to take you on a journey through the cosmos as we count down the top 10 future space habitats. From lunar bases to Mars colonies, from rotating space stations to asteroid habitats, and even cloud cities on Venus, we've got it all. So get ready to fasten your seatbelts and hold your breath as we delve deep into the future of human habitation. You won't believe what's at number one. Stay tuned and let's launch this cosmic journey together. Have you ever wondered where we humans will live in the not so distant future? A house on Mars or a floating city in the vacuum of space, perhaps? As we speak, the wheels of innovation are turning with visionaries and scientists alike dreaming up a future where the cosmos becomes our backyard. Our fascination with the heavens has spurred a new era of space exploration and with it, the concept of space habitats. These aren't just science fiction fantasies anymore. They're potential realities, each one a marvel of human ingenuity. We're talking about more than just lunar bases or Mars colonies. Imagine rotating space stations, asteroid habitats, even cloud cities in the unforgiving atmosphere of Venus. That's why today, we're diving into a countdown of the top 10 possible future space habitats. Each one is a testament to our relentless quest for knowledge and our undying spirit of exploration. So buckle up. Join us on this exciting journey as we explore the top 10 space habitats of the future. Starting our countdown at number 10, we have lunar bases. Picture this, a bustling community nestled in the moon's regolith, a place where humans can live, work, and play, all while gazing at the Earth from a distance. Lunar bases, while not as glamorous as some of the other entries on our list, are a practical first step towards human colonization of space. They offer the advantage of proximity, requiring less time and resources to reach than other celestial bodies. Moreover, the moon's low gravity could facilitate easier construction and resource extraction. However, this dream isn't without its challenges. The lunar environment is harsh, with extreme temperatures, solar radiation, and a lack of atmosphere, not to mention the logistical and technological hurdles we'd need to overcome to make it a reality. But if we can conquer these issues, imagine the possibilities. Imagine a home with a view of the Earth rising over the moon's horizon. At number nine on our list, we find Mars colonies. This concept is not just a figment of our imagination anymore. It's a real possibility we might see in our lifetime. The idea is to establish a permanent human presence on the red planet. It's like packing up for a never ending vacation to a place that's about 140 million miles away. Creating a self-sustaining colony on Mars has its advantages. The planet's abundant supply of carbon dioxide, nitrogen, and water can be used to produce food, fuel, and even breathable air. But it's not all rosy. There are challenges too. Mars's thin atmosphere exposes colonists to harmful space radiation. Dust storms can last for months, and the average temperature is a bone-chilling negative 80 degrees Fahrenheit. Still, with the right technology and enough determination, we might just make it. Think about it. A red planet could be our next home. At number eight, we have rotating space stations. Picture this, a structure orbiting the Earth, spinning just so to create artificial gravity through centrifugal force. This is the fundamental concept behind rotating space stations. But how feasible is it? Well, the physics checks out and we've had the technology for decades. The real challenges lie in the sheer scale of construction and the logistics of keeping such a station operational. But why bother with all that spinning? The answer is gravity. Our bodies evolved in Earth's gravity and don't fare well without it. A rotating space station, however, could provide a gravity-like experience, making it much easier for humans to live and work in space for extended periods. Living in a rotating space station, a concept straight out of science fiction, might be closer to reality than we think. Coming in at number seven are the O'Neill cylinders. These are gigantic rotating spaceships named after physicist Gerard K. O'Neill. The idea is that these cylinders would mimic Earth's gravity through centrifugal force, providing a comfortable environment for inhabitants. Picture this, a cylinder, miles in length and width, filled with homes, parks, and even weather systems. Sounds like science fiction, right? Yet the concept has some grounding in reality. 
With advancements in material science and space construction, the feasibility of O'Neill cylinders is becoming less of a pipe dream. Their large size could accommodate thousands, even millions of people, providing a solution to Earth's overpopulation. However, it's not all a walk in the park, or should we say a float in the cylinder. Constructing such megastructures would require immense resources and pose significant engineering challenges. Dealing with the effects of rotation on human physiology is another hurdle to overcome. It seems living inside a giant can might not be such a far-fetched idea. At number six, we have asteroid habitats. Imagine this, we could be mining asteroids not just for precious resources, but to make them our homes. The idea sounds straight out of a science fiction novel, doesn't it? But it's a concept that's gaining attention. Asteroids have a lot to offer. They're rich in metals and water, which could be used to sustain life and fuel spacecraft. Hollowing out an asteroid and setting up shop inside could provide a shield against harsh cosmic radiation and small meteor impacts. Yet, turning an asteroid into a habitat isn't easy. There are challenges to overcome. We need advanced robotics for mining and construction, and we'd have to figure out how to create a stable and livable environment inside. But the payoff? A network of asteroid habitats could serve as stepping stones for deep space exploration, making the vastness of space a little less daunting. Who knew asteroids could be more than just space debris? Floating into number five, we have Venus Cloud Cities. Picture this, a network of floating cities, buoyed by the dense Venusian atmosphere and protected from the planet's scorching surface heat. Sounds like a science fiction fantasy, right? But it's not as far-fetched as you might think. Venus Cloud Cities, also known as aerostats, could take advantage of Venus's dense carbon dioxide atmosphere and relative proximity to Earth. These floating habitats could offer us a unique living environment, with plenty of sunlight and temperatures comparable to those on Earth. However, the feasibility of such cities is not without its challenges. The atmospheric pressure and the presence of sulfuric acid clouds are among the biggest hurdles to overcome. Yet with advances in material science and technology, we might be able to turn these challenges into opportunities. Living in the clouds of Venus might be a reality sooner than we think. At number four, we have deep space habitats. A concept that is as intriguing as it is daunting, deep space habitats are essentially self-sustaining living quarters designed for the unforgiving expanse of deep space. These habitats are not just about survival, but about creating a quality of life for humans in the far reaches of our universe. The feasibility of such structures lies in advanced technology and robust design. They must be capable of producing food, recycling waste, and maintaining a controlled climate, all while withstanding the harsh conditions of deep space. The benefits, well, imagine a future where we're not just exploring, but living and thriving in the cosmos. Yet there are challenges. The isolation, the psychological impact of living in such environments, and the sheer distance from Earth are just a few. Deep space, the final frontier for human habitation. On sailing into number three, we have interstellar arc ships. Now let's dive into the vast ocean of space and explore these colossal vessels. Interstellar arc ships are a fascinating concept that could potentially transport humanity to distant star systems. These arcs, akin to miniature Earths, are designed to sustain multiple generations of humans on a voyage spanning centuries. The feasibility of arc ships is a topic of much debate. It hinges on our ability to create self-sustaining ecosystems, advanced propulsion systems, and technology to shield inhabitants from cosmic radiation. Despite these challenges, the benefits of arc ships are monumental. They could serve as lifeboats for humanity, ensuring our survival should Earth become uninhabitable. However, the journey of an arc ship is not without its perils. They would need to navigate through the interstellar medium, asteroid fields, and possibly even deal with the isolation and societal challenges of a multi-generational journey. Interstellar arc ships, our ticket to the stars. At number two, we have the ambitious Dyson Spheres. Imagine a megastructure, a shell of sorts, completely enclosing a star to capture and utilize its entire energy output. That's the concept of a Dyson Sphere proposed by physicist Freeman Dyson. This isn't a small undertaking by any means. We're talking about a structure with a radius of about 93 million miles, constructed from material dismantled from planets and asteroids. The energy harnessed could theoretically power an advanced civilization indefinitely. However, the feasibility of such an endeavor is a subject of much debate. The sheer scale of the project, the technological challenges, and the potential effects on the enclosed star and surrounding space 
are just a few of the issues to consider. Despite these challenges, the prospect of a Dyson Sphere remains a tantalizing future possibility. It represents the pinnacle of energy utilization and the ultimate expression of a civilization's technological prowess. Harnessing the power of a star might not be just a dream. And finally, at number one, we have galactic habitats. These are the epitome of our celestial dreams, a testament to our limitless imagination. Galactic habitats, in essence, are colossal, self-sustaining spaceships designed to traverse the vastness of intergalactic space, housing entire civilizations within their walls. Imagine a colossal structure, not just a city, not just a country, but an entire world traveling through the cosmos. The concept is awe-inspiring, isn't it? However, the idea is not without its challenges. The sheer scale of such a project is mind-boggling. The resources needed would be astronomical, not to mention the technological advancements required to sustain life for potentially millions of years in space. Despite these hurdles, the benefits could be immeasurable. Harnessing the resources of multiple star systems, the potential for scientific discovery, and the insurance for humanity's survival against any single planetary catastrophe. Galactic habitats, the pinnacle of human ingenuity and ambition. So there you have it, the top 10 future space habitats. We've journeyed through an array of incredible concepts, from the close proximity of lunar bases and Mars colonies to the far-flung ideas of interstellar arc ships and galactic habitats. Each of these habitats represents a unique vision of our potential future, a testament to human ingenuity and our inherent drive to explore and inhabit new frontiers. Let's take a moment to reflect on what we've uncovered. We began with the relatively nearby lunar bases, offering us a foothold in space and a potential springboard for further exploration. Mars colonies, with their promise of a second home for humankind, beckoned next, followed by the grandeur of rotating space stations, designed to simulate gravity and provide comfortable living conditions for their inhabitants. We then ventured beyond to the vastness of O'Neill cylinders, self-contained worlds orbiting in space and asteroid habitats making use of the abundant resources found in these roaming celestial bodies. The ethereal concept of Venus cloud cities floated into view, followed by the isolation and self-sufficiency of deep space habitats. Our journey then took us to the awe-inspiring concept of interstellar arc ships, carrying generations of humans to distant star systems. The mind-boggling scale of Dyson spheres, structures encompassing entire stars to harness their energy, was next. Finally, we contemplated the ultimate in space habitation. Galactic habitats, entire miniature galaxies created for our habitation. As we stand on the precipice of this new era of space exploration and colonization, we must consider the profound impact these habitats could have on humanity. They represent not just new homes, but new ways of life, new societies, and perhaps even new forms of humanity itself. The possibilities are as vast as the universe itself. The stars are no longer beyond our reach. The future of space habitats is full of promise and potential. So, where would you like to live in the future? And now, before we wrap up, we want to hear from you. Based on everything we've explored today, where in the cosmos would you choose to live? Would you prefer the rugged frontier of a lunar base, the simulated comforts of a rotating space station, or perhaps the distant dream of a galactic habitat. Maybe you're taken by the idea of an asteroid habitat, mining the universe's resources, or the ethereal beauty of a Venus cloud city, or perhaps the self-sufficiency of a deep space habitat appeals to you. Maybe you're drawn to the grand scale of a Dyson sphere, or the intergenerational journey of an interstellar arc ship. We'd love to hear your thoughts, so please share them in the comments below. And if you've learned something new from this video, don't forget to give it a like and share it with your friends and family. And if you haven't already, please subscribe and press the bell icon to stay updated on our latest content, exploring the fascinating universe we live in. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the future of space habitats. Until next time, keep looking up.